Hey guys, welcome to Infinity Junction. This is Vivek. So today we will see the concept of Vita's theorem and deriving quadratic equation from the given roots. If the roots are given, then how to derive the quadratic equation from the given root? With an example, we will see in this video. Uh, so before moving towards uh, Vita's theorem and deriving quadratic equation, let's first brush up the concept of sum of roots and product of the roots, which you studied in your previous classes. So let's say this is a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Then it has two roots alpha and beta. Then if you find the sum of these two roots, then you will get the value as minus b by a. Similarly, if you find the product of the roots, then you will get the value as c by a. So this sum and product of the roots are together called as Vita's theorem or Vita's relation. So this relation is for quadratic only. For cubic, there is also a Vita's relation and for high degrees, there is also a Vita's relation. But we will not discuss those things here. We will only cover the quadratic portion here. So by using this theorem or relation, you can easily find the sum and product of the roots without calculating the roots of quadratic equation. So you don't have to use the traditional method to calculate the roots. You can directly put the value and find anything like sum of the reciprocal of roots, sum of square of roots, sum of cube of roots. You can all find these things by using this Vita's relations. So here we will see an example for sum of reciprocal of roots. So if you find the sum of reciprocal of roots, then you can use directly relation as minus b by c for any quadratic equation. So similarly, you if you find the sum of cube of roots, then you can use this relation as 3abc minus b cube and this whole thing is divided by a cube. So this is the relation for finding the sum of reciprocal of roots and sum of cube of roots. Now we will see how to derive the quadratic equation. So let's say if you have two roots x1 and x2 or alpha beta for a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, then you can rewrite this equation as a x square plus b upon a x plus c upon a equals to 0. So if you find this uh, sum if you find the sum of roots, then you will get the value as minus b by a. If you find the product of root, then you will get the c by a. So you can rewrite this equation as x square minus of x1 plus x2 x plus x1 into x2 equals to 0. So if we call this x1 plus x2 as s, which is a denotion of sum, and call this as x1 into x2 as p, which is product of roots. So you can rewrite this equation as x square minus sx plus p so this is the required quadratic equation if the roots are given then you can directly put those roots value in this s and p which is sum of roots and product of roots so you can find the quadratic equation okay we will see an example for this so let's say an example if you have to find the quadratic equation whose roots are minus 1 and 4 let's say one root as alpha and other is beta Therefore, if you find the sum of root as alpha plus beta, then you will find this as 3 and product of the roots is alpha into beta, which is minus 4. So the required quadratic equation is x square minus sx plus p equals to 0. And what is this s is sum of roots and p is product of roots. So directly put the value, you will get the quadratic equation as x square minus 3x minus 4 equals to 0. So you can find the quadratic equation when the roots are given as by this method okay so this is all about uh, vita's relation and quadratic e deriving quadratic equation so see you in next video